What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Kangaroo Black coming back once again with another game preview and score prediction for week two. As a matter of fact, two of them. My Alabama Crimson Tide versus the South Florida Bulls and the Georgia Bulldogs versus the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. But I'm going to start off by talking about my Alabama Crimson Tide and South Florida. And let me mention South Florida first. All right. I know a lot of fans look at last season's game as South Florida almost beat us or we almost lost to South Florida. My mind recollect that my Alabama Crimson Tide of last year beat South Florida by 14 points. And I, I don't know no other team that beat another team by 14 points and people say they almost lost. But that's neither here nor there. That's in the past. And I hope for South Florida's sake that that game last season don't give them any hope for this season because there is no hope when it comes to this Saturday when the South Florida Bulls waltz their ass in the Bryant Denny Stadium. There's no hope for you, South Florida Bulls. I'm going to tell you that now. All right. So don't look back to last season and what you did. All right. My boy, my quarterback, Jalen Miro, will be playing in this game. All right. And this is a very different Alabama team, okay, under the tutelage of Coach uh, uh, Kalen DeBoer, defense coordinator Kane Womack, and offensive coordinator Nick Sheridan. This is a very different Alabama team from last season, okay? So, hey, just come in, take your ass whooping, and collect your money. Ain't too much need to be said about this game. Now, now South Florida, they they, they are 1-0, I believe. Yeah, they 1-0. They beat the Thune Cookman yesterday to the, I mean last week to the tune of 48 to 3. Nice win. Did what they were supposed to do. Okay. We know Bethune Cookman do not have the caliber of athletes that South Florida do. But that's neither here nor there. South Florida got the win. They did what they were supposed to do. But guess what? That damn quarterback, uh uh Brown, he only had 152 yards passing. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just talk about South Florida. I don't need to worry about what Bethune-Cookman did against their defense. But anyway, uh, the Bulls did have 403 yards, 172 passing, 231 yards on the ground, which is great against Bethune-Cookman. You ain't going to get nowhere near that when it comes to my Alabama Crimson Tide. I'm going to tell you that right now. South Florida Bulls. I know you're supposed to have a dual threat quarterback, an explosive quarterback, but guess what? He ain't going to be explosive enough to beat my Alabama Crimson Tide or even come close to it. All right? I'm not going to say my Alabama Crimson Tide going to shut out South Florida, but I am going to say my Alabama Crimson Tide going to beat the brakes off them and let them know that last season was a fluke for them. Alabama only having a three- 3-0 lead in the first half. Or maybe it was tied up 3-3. I don't know. But Alabama's scoring three points in the first half. That won't happen this season. I guarantee you that. You, you won't be looking at Tyler Buckner this season. <laughs> or, or in this game. But anyway, uh, again, South Florida, their defense held Bethune-Cookman to only 170 total yards. 122 passing, 48 rushing. Well, South Florida Bulls, your defense is about to get ran over this week. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. And you, just from the sound of my voice, you or what I'm saying, you already know who I got to win. And that's my Alabama Crimson Tide. Okay, because South Florida don't have enough to even compete with my Alabama Crimson Tide. They don't. All right, let's 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 talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide and what they did <clears throat> this past weekend to those, uh, who did we play? Who did we play last weekend? I'll tell you who we played. We played them damn uh, 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 Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, okay? And, and they didn't have it, just like South Florida. Don't got it. All right, T.J. Finley ran his mouth. And he got what he got. So if this quarterback that said something for South Florida, he gonna get what he gonna get. Well, he gonna get it any damn way. All right. Uh, my Alabama Crimson Tide. 
uh, this past week put up 600 total yards of offense, holding Western Kentucky to only 145. All right, 103 passing, 42 rushing. All right, and I'm looking at about the same numbers against South Florida. About the same number. I'm a less than 200 total yards. That's what I'm looking for my Alabama Crimson Tide defense to hold South Florida to less than 200 yards of total offense. Like I say, my Alabama Crimson Tide, we rolled up 600 uh, yards of offense, total yards of offense. This past weekend, 266 passing, 334 rushing. All right. Do I think we'll get that many rushing yards this week? No, I don't. But I'm saying we'll have a whole hell of a lot. A whole hell of a lot. And once again, in this game against South Florida, just like against Western Kentucky, Kane Womack and Nick Sheridan ain't going to have to show everything offensively. They didn't last week. All right, just like you see Jalen Miller only throw nine passes. Ty Simpson only threw nine passes. So don't have to show everything. And it will probably be like that offensively this week where they throw minimum amount of passes. And will everybody, damn near everybody, get to play, you know, this week like they did last week? Probably so. Because it's going to be a blowout. I'm going to tell you that now. It's going to be a blowout. So, hey, that's just the way it's got to be. That's the way this Alabama Crimson Tide football team is built. The offense is built to be explosive, to get explosive plays downfield. All right, so if Florida, South Florida, try to play the 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 the, the deep ball, we're going to tear their ass up underneath. All right, what it is we're going to do, we're going to do this run game and mix in a few passes like we did last, last uh, week. All right, so Alabama fans and any other fans of any other fan base, just like last week, get your popcorn, popcorn ready because I know – Damn near all the college football fans was watching my Alabama Crimson Tide last week under the tutelage of Coach Kaden DeBoer, even though we was playing Western Kentucky. <laughs> Tell you that right now. So, like I said, you already know who I'm picking to win this game, which I know they're going to win it, and that's my Alabama Crimson Tide. Ain't too much need to be said about this game. And if you're a fan of any other fan base other than my Alabama Crimson Tide, and you still talking about the game with South Florida last year, you damn sure won't be talking about it this year. You're going to revert back to everything you've been saying. Well, it was just South Florida. It was a cupcake. But when you've been saying a whole damn year, well, you almost lost to South Florida. Whatever, whatever. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But I tell you what, my Alabama Crimson Tide going to win this game. In my Alabama Crimson Tide, I got scoring 56 points for my Alabama Crimson Tide. 56, South Florida. Kane Womack was a little upset, even though we pitched a shutout last week. He was still upset, so these boys are going to be ready. But my Alabama Crimson Tide, 56, I'm going to say South Florida. Mm, I'm going to give them seven points. Alabama 56, South Florida 7. That's my final score, and I'm sticking with it. And the next game preview and score prediction I'm about to give you is the Georgia Bulldogs and Tennessee Tech, whoever they may be. I'm telling you right now, this offseason was the first time I ever heard of fucking Tennessee Tech. I'm going to tell you that right now. And uh, <laughs> they playing the number one team in the nation in the Georgia Bulldogs, all right? So, hey, all they're going to do is go into Sanford Stadium, take their ass whooping, get paid, and go on back to Tennessee. All right, that, that's what's about to happen. Ain't too much you can say about this game. Ain't nothing you can say about Tennessee Tech to make it sound good against the Georgia Bulldogs. Besides, they're going to show up. That is it. Tennessee Tech. As a matter of fact, they coming off, off a loss this past weekend to Middle Tennessee, I believe. I believe it's Middle Tennessee, and that is a damn shame. Yep, they lost to Middle Tennessee by 7 points, 32-25, and you know 
Georgia should should at least put up 60 points. At least 60 points. I don't care if they got the, the second, third, and fourth team in there the whole second half. They should put up at least 60 points. They should have 28 to 35 at halftime. Should. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, now, George Bulldogs, y'all ain't playing Clemson this week, okay? You ain't playing no Power 4 team this week. So, if, if you ain't got at least 28 to 35 points on the board at halftime, there's no excuse for it. No excuse. I don't know what the hell y'all will be doing not to get that many points by halftime against Tennessee Tech. All right? So, it is what it is. If you got 17, 20, maybe 24 points on the board at the half, that's a travesty. That is a travesty against Tennessee Tech. And I feel if Tennessee Tech score 10 to 14 points on you, that's, none, that's, that's unacceptable for this Georgia Bulldog football team against a team that goes by the name of Tennessee Tech. Okay. So hey, it is what it is. I'm looking to see. I'm looking forward to see seeing a lot of backups in the game for these Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, Carson Beck played the whole first half. Maybe one series in the second half, he should be done. That's what all the starters. They should be done after the first series of the second half. No starters should be in the game in the fourth quarter. For those Georgia Bulldogs, especially not Carson Beck. Shouldn't be in the game. I know this is Trevor Etienne's first game as a Georgia Bulldog. First real game as a Georgia Bulldog. He shouldn't be in the game in the fourth quarter. Branson Robinson shouldn't be in the game in the fourth quarter. Malachi Starks, Dominique Lovett, none of those guys should be in the game. Dylan Bell after the fourth quarter. None of them. Because I know that they're going to have a big ass lead. So, yes, there ain't too much you can even talk about. Who knows anything about Tennessee Tech? Nobody. I bet nobody, probably who watching this video, can name their quarterback, their head coach, anybody that got something to do with Tennessee Tech without looking it up. So, all we know is Tennessee Tech is going to wash their ass in the Sanford Stadium and get their ass, tow out the frame, collect their money, and go on back to Tennessee. We, I mean, yeah, Tennessee, we already, already know that. So, hey, it is what it is. Got to help them out. Got to help help them guys out, you know. Help them build their facilities and help with recruiting and all of that shit. So, hey, it is what it is. But Georgia Bulldogs going to win this game. And I'm saying... The Georgia Bulldogs will score. I'm about, I don't want to give them 70 points, but damn. But also, I'm going to give them 65. I'm giving Georgia 65. I'll give Tennessee Tech three. 65 to three, Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia 65, Tennessee Tech three. That's my final score. And I'm sticking with it. Roll. Damn. Tide, baby.